Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. For any of you guys having a BMW 5 Series and you wonder what are the symptoms of a bad crankshaft position sensor, stay with us and we'll explain that today. We'll explain on six cylinder gasoline engine, but even if you have a different engine, procedure is about the same. The symptoms are the same for four, six, eight cylinder gasoline and diesel engines. Many of you asked us to do that video and that's why we're making it. Guys, we'll share the top seven symptoms of a bad crankshaft position sensor in today's video. We'll explain where ours is located and how it affects the engine if it's not working correctly before we start guys let me introduce you we will be making more than two to three hundred videos on every single car we get at the shop specifically on bmws we make even more than that why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information if you guys need to buy a new crankshaft position sensor replacement parts or tools check out the links in the description of the video below we share them for your convenience let me show you guys okay what we have here now specifically okay we have a six cylinder gasoline n52 engine let me explain what the crankshaft position sensor does okay and where it's usually located most of the times okay for instance on the six cylinder gasoline engines it will be located right under the starter on this vehicle right there what it does it has um it has one uh, circular plate inside on the crankshaft with the teeth and the sensor detects by the teeth okay the position of the crankshaft that way the engine guys the engine computer can get the information and tell okay if it needs to adjust the variable timing because we have the vanus system uh, ignition timing when to uh, give the spark plug and uh, fuel injection timing as well guys and if that sensor is not working your engine will be in very bad condition because uh, the engine computer will have no idea what's happening as a result you may even get guys transmission light on just because of a bad crankshaft position sensor this is uh, very common as well guys now number one reason of a, okay number one symptom of a bad crankshaft position sensor hard start guys hard start or no start at all your car may not start at all or it may take a long time to crank until it starts and when it starts guys that's when you know these things go bad guys one of them intermittent stalling guys your engine will be stalling okay let's say you'll be running good and all of a sudden it loses power guys okay you're driving down the road and all of a sudden loses power or all of a sudden tries to die guys that's very common check engine light most likely guys 90 percent of the time if you have a bad crankshaft position sensor check engine light will come on the engine computer okay will detect that and it, it will throw a code one of the code it could be 2e94 another code could be anything from p0 335 to code 339 guys now that's very common guys another thing your engine will perform okay in certain range of rpms let's say you're accelerating and from 2 to 4000 rpms it works okay but around 4 to 5000 rpms it starts stalling guys this is normal as well it may be lacking power in the low band rpms or uh, having power in the low lower rpms and losing power in the higher rpms so it's really guys hard to tell but you will notice your engine often will misfire you may get codes for even misfire your engine will vibrate because it will not be running stable guys that's very common reason as well when you uh, when it idles it will not idle at the rpms that it should it may go up and down you may have rough idle it can go all the way up then drops down the car will almost die then it will level itself for some time and when you rev the car give it gas okay rpms will go up but slow guys not as fast as they should another thing you will be guys using a lot of gas the car will not be efficient you will not be able to pass emissions and the, the engine will be using way more gas than it should and if you don't fix that you can even end up causing more damage to oxygen sensors catalytic converters burnt valves it could be so many things guys so if you detect you have a bad sensor replace it guys the good thing is most of the times it will be really hard to start your car or it will not start at all that's why most of you will need to replace it so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time